So I finally hit 4,000 hours on Steam. I'm not even proud about that. Like it's kind of embarrassing. It just means I had no life spending so much time on this game. But I think it's time to show you my roster and don't get excited because it's not something impressive. It's not something fancy because here it is. I have a 1560 blade, 1472 like striker, 1482 scrapper which is my highest ult then the rest are a bunch of normal ults now you might be wondering what have i been doing if i played this game for 4000 hours and my roster is this weak it's simply because i always funnel all the resources to my main so i've only been taking care of my main character the rest i have been like abandoning them the only character that i ever take care of was reaper because it's a new release class, if you notice, it's 1475 for me, that's, that's kind of impressive. This guy was created on launch day, on the very first day of launch. Look at him, he's 1472. If you go to my channel five months ago, I showed you my scrapper, she was 1460. In five months, she only gained 20 eye levels, <laughs> because I just never hone my ults. I... Like, I only take care of my main character, I only care about my main. And if you can see here, I have so many builds for my main character. For example, this. This is my remaining build, like one, not my, one of my remaining builds. It's Kim Blunt remaining one. Then this is Raid Captain Surge. Then this is another GVG build. And by the way, I already have one equipped at the moment. This is my GVG build. And I'm not even wearing one of the necklaces for another one of my <laughs> GVG builds. And this is my Dominion that played the remaining Dominion. So you get the point. I spoiled my main character kinda too much. And it's plus 20 weapon. Now you might ask, why are you doing the opposite of what you always preach? Like I always make videos about efficiency, how to be efficient with this, how to be efficient with that. Well, I do the opposite of what I say because I'm not playing for efficiency, I'm playing for fun. If you want efficiency, I can show you my friend's roster. Here it is. By the way, she has less hours than me and she started playing after me. She has like a stacked roster. I would consider this really good roster because we are both free to play. We never RMT'd. And that's one of the reasons why I don't have a Giga Chad roster, because I have never RMT'd and I refuse to RMT. I'm not going to spend a single dollar on this game. I refuse to. And to be fair, I don't have, I don't mind like paying for stuff in the shop, especially stuff like cosmetics, like a character extension or character customization. Yes. But sadly, if you want to like whale now, you can only do it by RMT. If you try to whale mats, you're going to spend a lot of money for little progress. That's why like RMT is taking over because you get 10 times more value. And it's kind of sad. And you know what's funny? My first sponsorship offer was from an RMT site. I was so mad. Like I read like the sponsorship message and it was like, Oh, nice. I'm getting a sponsorship over. Then realize it's an RMT and I was like, you hunt me in a game and outside the game. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. I have done so many mistakes, but there is one mistake I have not done yet. And it's getting a level 10 surge gem. It's so unnecessary. It's a waste of gold. And it's not even worth that much gold for the damage gained. But you're going to see me in the future with a level 10 gem. I'm going to do it. But still, it's a big mistake. So let's look around my roster. Let's start by the scrapper. And recently, if you watched my stream, I was getting tripods for my uh, scrapper. But don't worry, I'm not that lazy. I have tripods for my shock build. It's just that I made recently a new Taijutsu build. And I didn't have to adjust the tripod, so I was getting that. So this is my scrapper. I think I'm going to show you guys my alt since you're already aware of my main. you already seen my main so many times. So this is my shock build. And completely juiced, except for the gems. And honestly, I don't think I need more than these two. And I could actually get it to do braille, 
if I just use the books, since you see, I have 50 Braille books and I could easily get her to 1490, but I just refuse to hone because if I hone now, if I hone my alts, I'm not going to have enough silver to hone my main. <laughs> so basically, my alts are just like getting eye level with fused leaps. That's the only way they gain eye level. So you see this the striker? He went from 1460 to 1472 with just fused leaps. I'm not joking. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. Let me show you my tie build, even though it's not something impressive. I went for a false swift tie because I mainly bust on alt to funnel gold into main. So I would like swift build because the sense is better for bussing. And this is my tie build. The reason I went for mass increase and not raid capsin, it's because I can easily tolerate the mass increase uh, penalty. And the 2% damage difference between them does not really concern me. So I think it's it's a good like budget build. And here you see my striker. I'm going Ezo, obviously, because it's superior. And this is my Ezo build. Uh, it's pretty standard stuff. I also like a bus on it. So And you know, like Ezo is better for bussing, uh, better than that below. And for the gems, it's the same story. I'm still racking level 5s with, like, yeah, decent character. I would not even call it decent. I would just call it beginner character. But it's an alt, so it's not supposed to be juiced. Oh, no, no. I'm going to leave my pallet till last one, actually. Let's go to my sorceress. So for my sorceress, obviously, I would run full swiftness again, like the full swift reflux. The reason for that is... I only bus on these characters, so I only use them for bussing to funnel gold into my main. There is no point on playing Burst Igniter. Oh my god, no, 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 I'm not going to show that, that's quite embarrassing. I have level 4s. I promise you, next month or next two months, I'm gonna buy her two level 5 damage gems. And... Yeah, it's just pretty standard reflex stuff. And this is my Reaper. I swapped from full swiftness into 50-50 like uh, hunger build. But I was actually so mad because I really enjoyed full swiftness and I think it's really good. But I noticed that people keep questioning it and I kept getting gate cut. So I swapped to 50-50 and now I have an easier time in lobbies. But the moment I hone this next year probably and get it to be braille ready, I would go back to full swiftness because that's I think full swiftness is more damage and it's more enjoyable. And for the gems, this is I told you, this is the only alt that I actually took care of. And almost full level seven. And I promise you by next three months I'm going to get her at least minimum level six. And this is my Solfest. It's not my weakest character, by the way, even though it looks like it. But I do have like uh, two more characters in storage. I can't be bothered to show them. Like they are third, I think, 1395 Glavier and 1340 Gunslinger. Because if you followed me, I showed you how to get extra free slots to gain extra free characters basically before the server merges happened if you created the characters on the other server when the server merged you will gain like universal storage where you put your characters and that way you gain free character slots and that's what i did and i have my gunslinger and glavier sleeping soundly there just waiting for whatever like express event next so i can put one of them on it and for now this is my glavier it's five by three has like random gems there like full level five and yeah now time to show you the last character my paladin and this is my pala as you can see it's four by three you don't really need five by three on support and it's gemless, but not really gemless. I have Marion, and it's more than enough, honestly. <laughs> and yeah, pretty basic pala. 
And this guy nearly made me lose a lot of gold. Simply because if you... Where is that? Where is that? Let me found that engraving. Yeah, this engraving nearly lost me a lot of gold. Because when I read it, the first time I read it wrong. I thought that it gives 20% attack power and 8% to party members when you counter. And since you guys know Pala is one of the best at countering, I almost made a 5 by 3 with this engraving and I even was planning to make a video on it. But thankfully, I read it again and discovered that it's not really 20% to like uh, party just to you. And now to sum up this video, I just want to let you guys know that if you're playing the game as free to play, you don't really need to grind every single alt and try to keep up with whales because I did that mistake at the start. I was trying to keep up with whales and grinding and stuff, but... Let's be honest, no matter how much time and effort you put into the game, you cannot stay on the same lane as someone who is RMTM. That's why like, I'm only focusing on my character, and sometimes when I feel like it, I just go on one of my alt and play. And this is actually good, because if I even just get, because I have not gotten bored of playing that blade yet. So the moment I get bored of playing that blade, I can just go and do the same thing over from the start. Just go and take care of Scrapper or Reaper or like even Source and make it the new main and start taking care of it and funnel all the gold into it. And now I have a new reason to play the game. So that's my philosophy actually, the way I'm playing this game. But some people enjoy playing alts, there is nothing wrong with that, but this is how I usually play. It's not efficient, it's the worst way to play it, but I still enjoy it, so see ya.